Kate, Chris McHale, good morning to you. A lot of ground to cover, so let's get right to it. Let's go inside politics. With me this morning, this is the Associated Press Alumni Association. Uh, Ron Fournier of the National Journal, a former AP friend of mine when I worked at the AP, and Julie Pace, the White House correspondent for the Associated Press. Let's start. There'll be a vote in the United States Senate today. Harry Reid wants to bring to the floor legislation that would raise the national minimum wage to ten ten, ten dollars and ten cents an hour from seven twenty five. Uh, this will not pass. They will not get. I'm assured this morning by a Senate Republican aide, the Democrats do not have the sixty votes to proceed. So likely a show vote, Julie. But sometimes a show vote's important. Why? Well, in an election year, a show vote is particularly important when you're talking about Democrats who are trying to build a message of income income equality, economic fairness. This plays right into that message. And it actually politically works better for them if they have Republicans that are trying to block this from moving forward. But if you're, if you're an American out there whose wages have been stagnating or declining over the last 20 years, you're not going to get any help from Washington until we get a new crop of leaders. The only chance right now is that your state leaders step up and uh, raise this wage. So the, so the voters out there who think this is a good policy idea uh, maybe applaud the Democrats, but they don't get any results in the short no. term. Uh, is there a race or two out there, Ron, where this could help a Democrat? Uh, is it a Mark yeah. Pryor in Arkansas? Does it help him sure. keep his job in a tough race? No, it sure could. When you're looking, when you're um, when you're Mark Pryor, when you're Begich, when you're somebody in one of these states uh, that that leans Republican, you're trying to hang on to your seat. You need to get your base out, and this is certainly an issue that really appeals to Democratic base voters.